to another special news edition of Pokemon Go. We had E3, and E3 actually showcased real, actual footage of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu, and it was amazing. Link will be down below for that full, I believe about 26 minute video, so it's not terribly long, of playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Going into Viridian Forest, and I'm just going to summarize a little bit of things. I'm not going to go over all of it because the video is worth a thousand words. There's a bunch of info, but battling, let's start with that. Battling, when you bring a friend, it is a 2v1 battle system. So if you're not going into a double battle, per se, if you have a friend with you, both of you get to attack in one turn against one Pokemon. I don't know how I feel about that. That seems overpowering to me, but we'll have to see if the cap increase like the uh, the difficulty does increase as you play throughout the game with two players instead of one so we'll have to see how that goes also the item finder is no more the Pokemon either on your head if it's Eevee or Pikachu if it's on your side will wiggle their tail if there is an item nearby also all stats are intact and put into the CP calculations that's attack defense special attack special defense and speed are in the game so I know there's less speculation around that and there's many, many other things as well. Like I said, link for that video will be in the description. It's There's a lot, a lot of good information and the game looks amazing. Also, if you get the PokeGo Plus, the ball, uh, you will get Mew. That's one amazing thing about getting the PokeBall Plus for Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu because you could not get Mew in the previous games in red, blue, or yellow. Mew had to have been obtained through a special event or a game shark, but if you buy the PokeGo Plus, you will exclusively get Mew in your ball. Now, on to some more news. SmackDown. SmackDown has been nerfed by about 4%. The best way to compare it is it's basically Waterfall. SmackDown is like Waterfall. Yes, Waterfall is a very good move. Perhaps it is the best Water Quake move in the game, but before this nerf, SmackDown was a lot better, a lot quicker, being more powerful than a Rock Waterfall for per se. But now it just is a Waterfall, and Rock Throw will still have its uses. Um, it's now currently not going to be the best move, but SmackDown, it got nerfed a little bit. We figured it would be anyway because it was an extremely powerful move. And hopefully it's not exclusive to Tyranitar once the community day is over because SmackDown is a well-deserving move for a lot of Pokemon like Kabutops, Aerodactyl, and some others as well. That would make them actually usable as Rock-type attackers instead of just using Tyranitar. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick of using the same Pokemon all the time. I, they've been powered up for a long time and I'm just kind of sick of it. And lastly, this isn't news, but I don't know if you guys remember, we actually had an event that ran into a community day. And I believe it was the Bulbasaur community day, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But during the Bulbasaur community day, we had the Kanto event going. And the spawns were horrible. They were absolute trash. Now we have a water event that's going to roll over into the community event. I thought Niantic learned their lesson, and they have not. Our Larvitar spawns are about to be trash. Seriously, they're going to be bad. Because I didn't get very many shiny Bulbasaurs, let alone a ton of uh, Bulbasaur candies. The spawn rate for Community Day should be about 8 to 10. 8 Bulbasaurs per 10 spawns. That's, that's, uh, that's an average, maybe 7, maybe 8. Somewhere in that range. During an event, like the Kanto event during the Community Day, the spawns were about 5 to 10. They were significantly, significantly lower. So Niantic, I don't know what you're doing. Unless you shut off all water spawns during Community Day for Larvitar, it's, it's going to be trash. It's going to be bad, and I really hope that they never do this again. But that's it with your boy Fit City. Reminder down below, I am selling merch. Link will be in the description as well. You have about eight days, I do believe. I've got a lot more new colors. So if you were trying or wanted to cop a t-shirt, make sure you do so. You're running out of time. Link is in the description down below. Also, subscribe if you're new to the channel and be a part of the Fit City fam. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.